ladies and gentlemen, that escalated quickly, says Jim Cantori. And what he's talking about is the, like, snow slash ice situation happening up the northeast coast right now. You got cars slipping and sliding and jackknifing each other all over the place in the icy areas up in the northeast. Remember, people just got stuck on I-95 for 27 hours. You know, we got uh, Venus retrograde and Mercury about to go retrograde, so I'd be extra careful with all this shiz, man. And remember, Northeasterners kind of have an idea of what to deal with and what not to deal with when it comes to ice and snow. Now imagine how people in parts of North Alabama are going to do tomorrow when they see some sleet or freezing rain. Do you guys even know the difference between the two? James Spann is saying that, and I'm just repeating it. All right. You got flood watches going on up here in Oregon and Washington. And why is there fog down in Texas? That's weird. I mean, it's supposed to be really cold, right? Well, it's not that cold. It's like 65 degrees in my apartment right now. But yeah, winter crap happening all up through here. We live in the most interesting times. Interesting is neither good nor bad. That just means it's interesting. Yeah, you got a lot of mixed precipitation coming to a lot of places over the next 48 hours. And then Germany was like, our antitrust regulator has classified Google, a company of paramount significance across markets, a move paving the way for authorities to clamp down on any potentially anti-competitive activities by the tech giant. So we're talking about Google and YouTube. And because things at YouTube are so freaking weird, even though I've been here for like nine years doing an excellent job as your planetary defense commander and at Thor News, I have to do a fundraiser every month just to pay my basic bills. And um, I pretty much got a fundraiser going on today. Where I got to raise like a hundred bucks before 5 p.m. just to pay rent. Um, and then $1,461 total for the rest of the month to keep Thor News up and running. So this is kind of like a red alert emergency Thor News fundraiser, which I have to do every once in a while, and we're doing it now. So if you'd like to contribute, I got a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, a Patron, and um, you guys are great, and you can always come through for me. So I love you. Then you got like Kazakhstan people revolting over their super high gas prices, energy prices. So of course, it being 2022. That leads to a Kazakhstan nation-scale internet blackout after a day of mobile internet disruptions and partial restrictions. The incident is likely to severely limit coverage of escalating anti-government protests. Yeah, we live in crazy times, man. Oh, also, the video before this, I talked about how we're now tracking a Russian rocket part that's 20 tons that may crash into Earth and... um. I don't know, it could hit San Francisco or part of the United States, depending on where and when it goes. I have another video before this. If you want to watch it, just go find that one. But yeah, so it's icy today in some parts, and then it's going to be icy and snowy in some parts Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But definitely I'm seeing a lot of people in the Northeast saying, there's like Bob Maxson saying light snow, sleet, and freezing rain creating very dangerous conditions right now in the western half of the state. When he's talking about Connecticut, conditions become very slippery very quickly. You don't have to travel. Don't travel. The coronavirus, you know, dark winter part 2022 is going super crazy. Yesterday, we had 8,687 more people go into the hospital. We're now up to 113,000 hospitalizations. And I think that's like 30,000 people in like four or five days that have gone into the hospital. So even though Omicron is supposed to be not as bad as Delta, because everybody's getting it. We had like, what, a million cases in one day? That means you're seeing a lot more people in the hospital. And, you know, I don't know, it peaked last year in January 21st for death. So I imagine it's going to be kind of the same way. So I don't know. Be safe. Be cool. Say prayers for everybody. But yes, the next few weeks are going to be very bad. And officials are hoping Omicron will burn out quickly. That's what the plan now is for hope. So, and then you got... Mercury going retrograde on the 14th. So you'll have Venus and Mercury going retrograde at the same time. So the second half of the month is definitely going to be extra crazy. And then we got some crazy storms we're watching um, on the 14th. 
So yeah, if you're going to drive in blizzardy conditions, definitely put your seatbelt on. This Idaho. Yeah, ice warnings up for North and Mid Wales. You got the Erta, Aeol volcano in Ethiopia. The lava lake has returned to crater. That after five years not being there, it is back now. So you got an Ethiopian lava lake. New. We've got one sunspot on the sun now. And was this a possible CME a little while ago? I don't know, maybe. You've had nine earthquakes in South Carolina in the last week or two. Granted, they're only like 2.5 magnitude, but still, people from South Carolina are like, this is odd. You had a 4.8 and a 4.6 earthquake pop off in Nevada at pretty much the same time earlier. That was weird. Sorry, the eighth earthquake to hit South Carolina. Um, yeah, gas giants on the same side of the sun. You can get a major earthquake anywhere. And the snow weenies are breaking down every single model run for the snow that is supposed to hit the upper northeast on the 7th, Friday. She must be a hardcore snow weenie, I bet. Or just a snow weenie lover, you know, like Brady. Anyway, I guess I'll keep this one kind of short. Maybe next time we can discuss why men in America are lonelier than everywhere else. Wait, what? I'm not lonely. I have Asteroid Fight Club. Yeah, Hong Kong's now banning lots of travel from people coming in because the virus is going bad there. Crazy days. And you know how hackers and ransomware have been a big problem? Well, that means sharding is just poop hacking your underwear. Hey, I made up a joke. Um, because maybe you guys respond better to my fundraisers when I tell good jokes. I don't know if that joke is good, though. Anyway, Thor News is kind of like a game show, and I need no whammies. Come on, Lucky 7. Baby needs new shoes. But that just means, you know, pay rent. So if you'd like to contribute and be like, heck yeah, Thor News, you do a great job, and I'd like to see you continue to do a great job, you can make a contribution or donation to, I got a PayPal, I got a Venmo, I got a Cash App, I got a Patron, and I got $100 to raise by 5 p.m., or total $1,461 to raise by the end of the month. Um, and I really appreciate y'all. You guys have been amazing to me every single time. So I'm going to keep the faith and pray for miracles. I'd like to say thank you again to all of Asteroid Fight Club and Henry and the Wizard of Oz and Alexis and Patricia and Barbara and Max and Lauren and Richard and Glenda and Arnica and Light Soul and Dan and Marlita and Brian and Anne and KJ and Chain Change and Nate and Susan and Lance and Nancy and Zacher and Andrea and Mars Fools Gold and Travis, and everybody out there that is cool and awesome, I want you to have a very great day. I'll probably talk to you in the very near future. Okay, God bless everyone. Stay cool, drive safe, and avoid the ice. Peace out.